Sunday long run is on the card today. Two hours long run with a 30 minute hard finish and that should make it kind of extra spicy. We've got uh, new shiny shoes. I've been looking forward to wearing these and trying these out for a little while. I'm in need for a, of a, a really good long run shoe. So hopefully, fingers crossed, these will be the ones. So yeah, we're gonna get warmed up, breakfast, coffee, then we're gonna hit up a um, bit of a run down the Thames and then um, land in Battersea Park, the classic South London long run location. So yeah, we'll get, get to it. <laughs> guys here get to them in a second the reason i got some new shoes so i tried out tons of different brands we've got the alpha flies give me blisters after like 25k the sorky and dolphin speeds too yeah great shoe yeah i found again like long runs started getting like tightish calves could just be fitness but yeah avoided those now currently i'm rotating between boston 12s here, which are really good, but I think just being maybe a little bit firm for me, but good for like those midweek kind of moderate efforts. Then we've got the 1080 V13, which is a great recovery day shoe. Although I ran Milan Marathon last weekend and held up pretty well, but um, for anything faster for me, it just mushes into the ground and uh, yeah no kind of off foot traction or anything like that. It, you just absorb into the ground at this point, but good to save the legs and kind of look pretty sweet. Then my everyday mileage kind of shoe at the moment is the Nova Blast. Yeah, I know it's got a shoe of the year quite a few times. Um, holds up, super comfy, good cushioning. And yeah, solid shoe. Um, trying to take it on longer mileage, yeah. Doesn't quite hold up for me, especially when you've got like efforts in there, um, but it's good for the regular days. So, now, what have we got? So I've been trying to get hold of these shoes for a little while. And they've evaded me. They've also been a bit like spenny side, so I've been unsure when and whether to get them or not, because of how expensive they are. But, but I really needed that long run shoe. Something that I'm gonna feel comfortable in, something that's gonna hold up the mileage and also let me do a few efforts without it being a super shoe. Um, so, yeah, what have I gone for? I've gone for the, yeah, the A6 Super Blast in this kind of absolute ludicrous color. I don't know what they call it. It's kind of a red, cool little vault pool tab at the back. But um, yeah, managed to snag these. Um, this week, got them delivered in time for the long run today. Excited to try these out. Super bright. I'm gonna to have to figure out what I'm gonna wear with it. Excited to try these out. Big stack height, really squishy bottoms, so light. Let's see how they go.
90, 90 minutes easy. Hard finish, managed about 20 minutes, just over 5K. Feeling very, very good. Yeah, it was a tough going after about 17K and then uh, hitting up the hard effort. We got it done, enjoyed a little bit of a Coke afterwards and a little walk around the shop. Now I'm gonna get some food and run done. Shoes are awesome. These new Super Blasts are gonna be uh, a kind of regular fixture in the long runs. So comfortable, they look pretty fire as well. That kind of orange, luminous colorway. Really great at the easy kind of miles. And then uh, when it needed dialing up a little bit, they were just like, yeah, they moved over and turned over really well. Super happy with the kind of cushioning, the fit in the upper, super nice on the lockdown. Plush tongue, and then you kind of lock down the laces really tight. Ticked over super nicely. Excited to get some more mileage in these. Right.